Morning. Welcome back to the allotment. Um, it's quite mild today. No wind for a change. So what I'm going to do today is I'm cracking on and planting this um, fruit tree. As I said before, the large fruit tree is coming down. I'm hoping to get that done next week. Um, so I'm getting this fruit tree in at this side here. And then there's one right down at the very end there. Um, you can see there that I'm going to plant as well. So I'm going to start with that today. Um, and we'll go from there. This soil ain't too bad here on this side, even though it is the area that gets that gets um, gets flooded. Um, it doesn't look too bad. Um, so I'm going to make a deep enough hole to get this pot into and drop a little bit of fresh, or should I say, well rotted manure and see how we go there is quite a lot of leaf mold that i put on this bed um so that'll all go into the bottom of the hole that rain really did um put me behind a little bit so I'm not going to stress about it I'm just going to do what I can when I can you know what I find amazing as well about digging a hole you dig it but the same amount of soil that you take out never goes back in strange see here it's quite clay is this soil now we're getting down to the bottom so I'm gonna break it up throw that to the back there get some of that softer soil around it let's try the pot for size Probably another couple of inches. Do you have fruit trees on your plot? I've gone for dwarf ones. Because I don't want them, you know, overtaking, overtaking the site. Right, leave me to that. I'll crack on and come back to you when I've got it planted. There we go. That's in nicely now. Bits of weeds off. That's in nicely at the right height. Just pack some of that soil around it and we should be good to go. to be careful not to go above where it's naturally planted so we'll get some of this stuff in don't want no air pockets in there and then just clear it to where it needs to be now all that needs to do is bloody grow Right, that's one down, another one to go. There we go, that's the second one in, nice and level. I think this is a plum, if I'm, if I'm correct. 
So that's the second one in. There's another, th another third one to go in behind the camera. But I'm not going to do that until I've taken down that big tree. Because obviously it's going to get in the way. So I'll do that next week, hopefully. I've got to try and get myself either my chainsaw sharpened or a new, um, a new chain. Um, so that's another job on the list for next week. Right, I'll get this filled in. And then I think I'm going to make a start on try to dismantle the shed to get that decorated um, ready for the log burner that I've got to go in there I've seen so many people with log burners on um, on YouTube that I thought I need to get myself one of them and I've had this for a while but I've always been a bit wary because we've had people sleeping in people's sheds but I give it some thought and I thought well do you know what if somebody's desperate enough to sleep in a in a shed on an allotment then do you know what they're welcome to it as long as they keep it tidy so I'm not really bothered so We'll crack on with getting this done and I'll take you in there and talk to you about my plans. So this is my shed um, and I'm probably doing this at the wrong time really. Um, I should have done this right at the beginning of the winter but because of the way things went I just couldn't do it. So the idea is, is you've seen my potting shed at the, at the back of this shed here. That's got everything I need in to pot in. It's got my potting table that lifts up and down. I've got all my pots in there, everything. So I don't really need this as a potting shed as it was first intended. So what I want to do is make this shed somewhere where I can sit, I can chill out um, and, you know, just make it comfortable. So my plans are um, to take this shelving down. Um, Ali. Um, from the rusty allotment I take on board your comments that they'll come in handy but what I'm thinking of doing is maybe using them again in here uh, Michelle's but just out of the way uh, because the intention is is when these go is to put my wood burner in this corner here just down here um, and then rather than going through the roof with the chimney I'm going to go through the side of the wall get like a, a bend that takes it through and onto the wall there um, and then the intention is, is to have that there, um, have some chairs here, table, you know, a bit of fit another couple of chairs in here then for when we have a, a brew on a, on a cold, wet day. Um, and basically that's going to be it. And then I want to paint it. Um, and I'm thinking of just painting it white um, and just brightening it up a little bit. I've got, I'm going to put some pictures down here. Um, I, in a past life, when I worked for the local authority, I used to look after sort of all the sponsorship for the local council. Um, and we were quite fortunate that Lee City Council entered a number of uh, Chelsea Flower Show show gardens. Um, and my role within the team was to generate the sponsorship to be able to pay that so that it wasn't, you know, um, at the taxpayer's expense. Um, and I was fortunate enough to have that experience. I think we went about five or six times and we got a couple of gold medals as well. Um, now I've got some lovely pictures um, from a couple of those gardens um, and I'm thinking they might go really well in here. I don't think anybody will steal them. They're not worth anything. Um, I think the type of people that come in here to rob are after you know, things that they can sell like cookers and tools and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to put them in here. And I'm going to try and make this quite homely. I've seen some lovely YouTube um, channels, sheds, you know, and they really make them homely. Um, and that's what the intention is going to be with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack on and we start getting this emptied out so I can expose this shelf and get it down. It's never as easy as you want it to be. I've got to undo all this beading just so as I can get to the actual um, scaffold boards. Never mind.
You know when you think to yourself, I'll just do that easy job. Just take that shelf off. And just put the table there and all. And it turns into an absolute mammoth task. <laughs> what I've not realised is I've actually clad the shed around the um, the shelving. So the only way really that I'm going to get that big long shelf off is to get the saw out the saw down the middle of it which I really didn't want to do but it's going to have to be done so I'm way back to the van now I'm going to do that jeez here we go again <laughs> took some right doing I really didn't think it was going to be as hard as that but it's all out now as I said I had to split that but they're still workable then so I'll be able to use them in something um, so all I've got to do now is just patch this up cover it in where the insulation is patch this up um, but it just gives so much more room in here um, and like I say we'll make it into a bit of a man cave somewhere nice and comfy to sit um, Drink his coffee and have a natter. Um, anyway, guys, that's me for today. Not much gardening, but we've got plenty of time for that this season. I want to say, first of all, thank you to all my subscribers. Um, thank you very much for watching. And a special thank you to those last few that got me over the 1,000 subscriber mark. Um, Seems to take an age. I got to about 985 and I never shifted. And then I got to about 992, 93. Then I lost three. Then I gained four. And then I... what a marathon. Anyway, we've got over that hurdle now. So I'm pleased about that. Um, and it's onward and forwards looking at the season ahead. So what I'm going to do next week, hopefully, the tree's coming down. Um, I'm going to make some headway on patching this up. Once it's patched up, I'm going to empty it out completely and then I'm going to get, see if I can persuade the wife to come down and help me do a little bit of painting. Anyway guys, it's time to go, it's time to get home, time to get a bath and, and put my feet up and watch a little bit of football. So, from me to you, have a great week ahead and happy growing. Take care.